Welcome to today's tutorial. Here we show the setting of synchronization for mobile devices. First of all it's important that we use wireless LAN or UMTS so you don't need any cable. Synchronization does not work via Outlook. Furthermore we recommend to deactivate synchronization in foreign countries for financial reasons and a flat rate for your mobile device. Step 1 explains some short preparations in eGroupware, Step 2 shows the installation and Step 3 demonstrates some useful configuration options. First of all settings for synchronization with the client via CalDAV. Here we make all provisions for the setting directly on our computer and show which parameters you can adjust. On the one hand we see our calendar, in this case the one of our demo user Nicole Oster. Later on we'll be able to check if all appointments are transferred to our client. Beside appointments we synchronize address book entries and tasks from our infolog. To make the appropriate adjustment I click on preferences in the upper menu bar. Here it's very important to choose CALDAV CARDAV as a protocol because that's the way we synchronize. In settings for calendar I specify which calendar should be synchronized. In this case I don't choose anything because we only synchronize our personal one. In the lower part you choose the time frame for your synchronization. To synchronize appointments up till one year in advance and 100 days in the past is a proven setting but can also be changed by yourself. In address book settings I now choose which contacts I want to synchronize. For Android devices it's important to indicate that all address books will be synchronized to one. Therefore I set a check mark because otherwise it won't be possible to choose several address books. My personal addresses will always be synchronized but I can also add more address books, for example I add my business contacts here. The final step defines which types of infologs will be synchronized with our mobile device. The default here is to do. If you want to add more infologs, for example calls, Set a check mark at the relevant position. In case you don't have the option settings, CALDAF CARDAF, it's because your admin did not yet activate this setting for you. That's all you have to know about the setting in eGroupware. For part 2 we now change to our mobile devices screen. In the second part of our tutorial we'll talk about the installation on your mobile or tablet. In this case we use a Samsung tablet, which means an Android device. The installation for Apple devices will be explained in another tutorial. To install the application I click on Play Store on my tablet to find all available apps. We've already filtered via the upper search bar. On the one hand we've got CALDAF Sync Client from Martin Guider. You use this app for 259 if you work with our Community Edition. The second app on the left side is a free client that we make available to our clients of Stylite Hosting or our EPL version. Just click on the relevant icon. Like this you get the app and then click on Installation. A new window opens and you will be asked if you allow access to your contacts and calendars. As this is essential for our synchronization we here click on accept. Part 3 shows the last step, the proper configuration on your mobile device. On our tablet screen we now see smooth sync as a new menu option. Via this option we can configure eGroupware on our tablet. Therefore you need the URL from your admin, which means the address of your eGroupware. In our example the relevant URL is webinar.egroupware.de but it's important that you enter the proper URL of your eGroupware. Just as easy you fill in your username and your password and then sign in. We now validate your data and establish a connection. Congratulations, the setup of your synchronization is completed and you can adjust more settings now. For example, there's the option to import more contacts from another address book of your mobile device. Just as well you adjust your account specific settings here. If you close this menu now, you can go back to configuration anytime. If we now choose settings, we already see our new synchronization program. One more click to general settings opens our account and shows synchronization is still running. Choosing another account we can see what exactly is synchronized in this very moment. Currently there are still some contacts left. In case you want to cancel synchronization click on the button in top right corner. We now go back one step and take a look at our account settings. Here you can for example change the synchronizations interval. To show infolog entries I click on smooth sync once again and all tasks will be displayed. 
Android doesn't have its own task application, but via our app you easily open all info logs on your tablet, create new tasks or edit them. Via the button in top right corner you refresh info log, manage your accounts or show completed tasks. If I want to check the status of my synchronization, I choose contacts on my desktop. We see that some contacts are already transferred. Just as easy, all categories will be copied, for example co-workers or software group. If you add any photos to your contacts, they will be taken over as well. The button in top right corner shows all options to edit your groups. We are at the end of our tutorial and you learned how easy you synchronize contacts, calendars and infologs with your tablet or smartphone.